Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here. And in today's video, we're gonna set up LinkedIn ads conversion tracking for a Calendly meeting invite that's on our website. So if I go to my website here and a user clicks the call to action, book a call, it's gonna to go to this page that has the Calendly invite uh, embedded. So then a user will click a date, they'll select a time, they'll go next here, and then they'll fill out their details. And when a user clicks schedule an event, it's gonna redirect them to this thank you page. So we're gonna use this thank you page to fire a conversion in LinkedIn ads, and that will tell LinkedIn ads when someone booked a call through Calendly. So the requirements to do this is you're gonna need a Calendly meeting, and then you're gonna need a standard or higher paid plan. So if we go to the paid plans here on the standard plan, which I'm using, uh, you'll need the standard plan because that allows you to redirect users to that um, confirmation page. So you'll need that and then you'll also need a thank you page or any dedicated page that's gonna be specifically for these Calendly bookings. We want the page URL to be unique um, so we know when someone lands on that page, the only way they can get there is when they booked a call. So those are the requirements. And now jumping into LinkedIn ads, we're gonna set up first the insight tag, and then we're gonna set up the Calendly meeting um, and add the thank you page in Calendly. And then we're gonna set up conversion tracking, and then you should be all set. So first off, we need to make sure that the LinkedIn insight tag is added to our website. So we're gonna go into campaign manager. We're gonna go into the analyze section here, go to signals manager. And then we're gonna go uh, where it says set up your insight tag and create the insight tag. So the insight tag is just a snippet of code that gets installed on your website. So LinkedIn knows which users are visiting your website and it'll allow us to create that conversion tracking. So we'll click create insight tag and then we'll agree to this policy and that will create the insight tag. So it says unverified because we haven't installed it yet. So you're gonna click uh, the insight tag and then in this example, we're gonna be using uh, Tag Manager, specifically Google Tag Manager to set it up. I have a playlist called Tracking that I'll put in the description of this video that has a lot of tutorials for adding it to specific like page builders. So if you're adding this to Webflow, um, if you're adding it, installing it manually to your site using Squarespace, Duda. Overall, it's pretty simple. You just need to add this tracking snippet to the global footer of your website. So it's on all pages and um, you'll be set there. So in this example, we're gonna be using Google Tag Manager. So um, we're gonna copy our partner ID right here under the I will use Tag Manager. Then we're gonna go into our Google Tag Manager account and we're gonna go to the tag section and click that. And then we're gonna click create a new tag and we'll call this the um, LinkedIn Insight Tag. And then we'll click Tag Configuration and then uh, we're gonna select LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0. Um, if you don't see it here, you're gonna go to the top and click search and you're gonna type in LinkedIn. And then you'll find, um, you may have to go into discover more tag types. So you'll click that and then you'll search for LinkedIn here and you'll add the LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0. And then uh, you can come back here when you click Tag Configuration, you should see it, uh, the LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0. So I'll click that. And then all we have to do is paste in that partner ID that we copied um, right here. So we pasted that into the tag under the partner ID section. And then we want this to fire on all pages. So we'll click triggering and then we'll select all pages and then we'll select save. So now that uh, tracking snippet is gonna fire on all pages of our website. Now we wanna push this so it's live on our website. So we'll click submit and then you can give this a version name. So we'll say added LinkedIn insight tag and then we'll click publish and that's gonna publish the changes onto our site. So that was published. Next, we wanna verify that it's actually working on our website. So we'll go back to our website here and we'll go to this extension called the B2B House LinkedIn Insight Tag Checker. It's a Google Chrome extension. So you'll wanna find that and then you can click inspect and then you can see here we have the partner ID that we just added. So we know that the, the tag that we just added to Google Tag Manager is actually on our website and it's working. So you wanna verify that and then we'll click okay. So we're all set there. So then we'll go to analyze signal manager and you can see the insight tag says unverified. Sometimes you need about 24 hours for that to propagate and it will go to active. Now we're gonna go into Calendly and set up that meeting so it redirects to the thank you page. So we'll go into our Calendly account here. I just have this one meeting and I'm gonna click on the, the gear icon to go into the settings of this and click edit. And then under the booking page options, you're gonna click that and you're gonna go to the confirmation page section. So in the after booking dropdown, you're gonna click that and make sure it's on redirect to an external site. So I'll select that. 
and then you're going to add in the URL that you want users to be redirected, which is going to be that thank you page. So I have it here. It's going to mitchellcool.com slash thank you, which is this thank you page. Uh, so then we'll, you'll add that there and you'll click save and close and then you're done there. So Calendly, after someone books, they're gonna to go to that thank you page. Now we're gonna use that to set up the conversion tracking. So we're gonna go back into uh, our campaign manager account and then under the analyze section, we're gonna to go to conversion tracking and then we're gonna click create conversion and we're gonna use the insight take conversion. So we'll select that. And then we're gonna give this a name so we know what the conversion is. So I'm gonna call this booked call thank you page and I put in parentheses last. So under the attribution section, um, I'm going to select, we're going to create two conversion actions here, but first we're going to create the one that says last touch, last campaign. So I like to set up conversions that use both um, types of attribution. So the last campaign attribution, if a user comes to uh, say three campaigns, so they went to campaign one, campaign two, campaign three, and then they finally booked a call, campaign three is going to get the credit for that conversion. So campaign three will get a conversion when you're using the last touch, last campaign. And then when you're using the last touch each campaign, if a user comes to campaign one, campaign two, campaign three, and then they submit that conversion, they book that call, each of these campaigns is gonna get attributed a conversion, which is helpful to know which ads um, helped in that sequence to get someone to convert and fill out a form. So it's good to have both the last campaign conversion and the each, and then in here in the campaign manager account, we can assign different values. So for the last touch, last campaign, I assign a higher value there because it's more important to know the actual last ad they saw and they converted on. And then for the time frame here, I'm going to do 30 days in a one day view. So if they clicked on an ad and then within 30 days uh, converted, this conversion action will fire and it'll get attributed to a campaign. And if they saw an ad and they converted after seeing the ad within one day, um, there will also be a view through conversion there. So if they didn't click the ad, but they got an impression and then within one day they converted, uh, that campaign will get attribution there. And then we can just give this a type. So a lead, you can call it a booked appointment, a, a lead. This is just to help you understand what's coming through. So we'll say booked appointment here, and then we'll click next step. We'll use the manual conversion setup, and then we'll select page load. So, and then we'll use contains. So anytime someone comes to our uh, page here, we want this conversion to fire. So when it contains the domain here slash thank you, uh, that's going to fire that conversion. I like to use contains and just start with the domain there and the page path, and then we'll click next step. That's going to create the conversion. You can add it to a campaign if you want. I'm just going to click create right now. So we created that conversion action here. You can see it says unverified, no insight tag. We're still waiting for the insight tag to propagate. This should go to active soon. So sometimes it can take up to 24 hours, but uh, we'll try to refresh in a little bit and see if that goes to active. And now we're gonna create the same conversion action here. We're just gonna use the each touch attribution and it will give it a lower value. So now we're gonna go back in here, click create conversion, insight take conversion. We'll use the same name that we just used, uh, but we'll change this to each. So go like that. And then we're gonna call this booked appointment like we did for the last one. And instead of $25, we're gonna give uh, this a $5 um, conversion value. We're gonna use the same time frame here, so the 30 day click in one day, and then we're gonna use last touch each campaign this time. So we have that, we'll click next, and then we'll do the manual conversion setup here. When the page loads, we're gonna use uh, contains, and then we'll add in our URL here just like last time, and then we'll click next step. We're not gonna add it to any campaigns, but you can select this and add it to a campaign, and then we'll click create. So now we have both conversion actions. We have the last touch, which has a higher value. And then we have the each touch, which has a lower value, but will help us understand which ads are assisting in the conversion process. So I just waited about five minutes and the status of the conversion actions went from unverified to active. So that's all set up. Now, the last thing you wanna do is just go through the flow and make sure nothing's broken. And when you book the call, it actually redirects to the thank you page. So we're gonna go back to my website here, click book a call. We'll let the Calendly um, booking load here. And then we'll select a date, select a time, go to next. Then we'll add in our details and then we'll click schedule an event. 
and we get the confirmation here and then it's redirecting us and we land on the thank you page. So that flow worked as um, expected. We have our LinkedIn insight tag that we checked with our, um, our Chrome extension here. We know that's set up and then we go back into our conversion actions. We visited the thank you page. We see that it's active. So you should be all set up and um, good to go at this point. Let me know if you have any questions on this. If you ran into any issues, please put them in the comments section. I'd be happy to help you out there. And thanks for watching and have a great day.